Hi, hello, hey. So I'm going to be doing a what's in my art backpack video. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about their travel art supplies and I think it's very interesting, you know? What do you take when you go on vacation? Or in my case, what do you take to the park, you know? <laughs> also very important. Mm -mm. And camera lady's helping me film. That's me. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using this big backpack and you know, Obviously, going to the park, you don't need a whole backpack for art supplies, but I can never decide what I want to use. So, backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think everything is like in the main thing. Like, I don't think I actually have anything like in here. I think I put my phone in here. Ooh, I do have stuff in here. What is this? Ooh, oh, it's stuff. a pencil. I found this in my old like school backpack. I haven't used that backpack for a year, so pencil. <laughs> and then I also brought some inks. And I was kind of scared, like, traveling with these. But they're, like, shimmery inks. And I normally store them upside down, and they haven't leaked. So I figured they were good, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't use them very often, too, so I thought they were good to put in here. And then I don't have anything on the side pockets. Okay, let's see what's in here. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun. <laughs> I guess I'll do over here first and I'll just like press my neck on it. Yeah, so there's a bunch of pockets in here and then I have in here. <laughs> I have extra paint palette and I have clips which are very important you know to keep your sketchbook from getting all like if it's windy need clips okay I hate when you're drawing and the wind is like Psh, and then you're like Psh. I was inking something the other day while I was outside and I didn't have a clip and the wind blew, and then my pen just made a line across the page. <laughs> and then this pocket, it's like a Velcro one. And I have a paper towel. Oh yeah, you know what's sad, Iris? I lost the sponge, the rainbow sponge. You lost the sponge? That's why I have a paper towel. You replaced the, the sponge. Yeah, I don't, I think I might have left it in like a hotel or something. When I was like staying at the beach. This is a really sad moment in yeah. history. I had like weirdly two vacations in a row after not going on vacation for a long time. And the second one that I went on, I couldn't find my sponge. So I normally have a sponge that's like, and it's like painted rainbow that I've had for like who knows how long. And little me painted it with acrylics rainbow. And so it was really hard. <laughs> But it was pretty. <laughs> it was a pretty sponge. And I don't know where it went. That's so sad. But yeah, so it's gone. R.I.P. Pin stuff. Mm -hmm. We have a gel pin and one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I really like these erasers. You know, I think I found, like, I got these because I think my grandma had them. My Grammy. I saw them at her house and I was like, those are cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know a gel pen I actually don't use gel pens very much anymore I use like gouache because these ones always get clogged like, the gel pens always get clogged and it's really annoying they do always get clogged the desk is sticky it's really gross <laughs> probably just glue though just so you know <laughs> just, just so we know oh putting all the stuff away is going to be fun just realize That's that the best part and then i recently have two of these in here they're not mints boxes anymore <laughs> <laughs> but they look identical which is really annoying so i was thinking i should paint them or something but i use um normally i use them for sharpeners so in case you have like a sharpener just like this and then you can like you know without having to, without having to use a garbage can yeah so very handy and the metal sharpeners like work the best 
and they don't or they're not supposed to get dull over time dull mm -hmm. the blades are supposed to be better yeah yeah and then here is my gouache it's in this thing it came with a handmade watercolor palette and i'm honestly like not sure what they intended me to use it for but there's a hole so i put gouache in it <laughs> So, you know, it works, like, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, and this doesn't really need to be in a box. Because since it's dry, it'll just be fine. It's not going to get anywhere since it's dry. But, you know, in case if it was wet and I didn't feel like waiting for it to dry, I can just put it in there. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Yeah, so I recently put that in there and now I have two identical boxes, you know. Doesn't get confusing at all. Not at all. And then it needed eraser. And... I actually really hate these boxes because it's like the box is too close to the same size as the eraser so it's really annoying to have like fit it in there to like smooth it down and make sure it fits get it to close it's really annoying like you want the needed I feel like if I took some of it out so the needed eraser was smaller it would be easier to get in there <laughs> I was trying to get, oh, <laughs> get the angle you know no I had two erasers. I think actually both of these came in like sets of art supplies. But this is one I normally use, you can tell. It's used. <laughs> the, the little corners. Really. Yeah, the corners and uh, the writing is. Oh, like, yeah, that <laughs> But yeah, you know what's funny? I Recently I watched a video and someone was like, oh my god, it's like the best eraser ever. Which is funny because I actually like, don't like it that much. Oh. Um, I really like these ones. I have two of these. This one's like the miniature version, so it's so tiny. It's so cute. My other one's not up here though, so I can't show you the comparison of what normal size is. <laughs> but I think it's normally like a little bigger than this maybe. I don't know. But anyway, this came in a set and then I have a lot of- I think I have everything else in the set in here, so I just put it in here even though I already have an eraser. And last but not least, I have red mechanical pencil lead. <laughs> and I think I have one of my mechanical pencils in here has red lead and I thought I was going to use it all the time so I brought extra lead but I actually don't use it very much because the lead is like not erasable as I thought it was going to be. Or maybe it's supposed to be erasable but it's not. <laughs> it, it, it lied to you. Yeah, it's just like a normal color pencil so not erasable. And then here's the exciting part. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Okay, so these are the watercolors I have in there. I got out the box. It's the Shinhan watercolors. And I got them on Amazon. Yeah. It's like gigantic box. Yeah. I don't know. They're okay. I don't actually know if these... Okay, it says professional. So I guess these are the professional ones, but... I don't know. They could be student grade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're like super good, but I think they were pretty like um, inexpensive. Yeah, so here are the watercolors. This isn't like a standard um, box, but um, it's metal and they put little uh, magnets on the bottom so they just stick in there. But yeah, and normally like a standard I guess uh, the same, like a standard metal one that didn't, has like an insert normally and then there's only like 12 colors and like there's, there's not a middle row. Yeah, these have magnets on the bottom, so more paints. <laughs> yeah, and I thought the case was really pretty. The case is very pretty. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this pink color is a Daniel Smith color actually, but I think the rest of them are the paints. Yeah, so those are the watercolors I use. Kitty! This is Peter. Oh, yeah. You like that? Sweet baby. Like <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Back from the cat. So, I guess I'll do sketchbooks first, and then I'll do what's, like, left in here. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, sketchbooks. I just got this one. The thing is still on it. <laughs> I want to see the guy. You want to? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, they wrapped this in plastic so you can't tell what the paper was. And then I bought it and they're like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, 
you can do light washes of watercolor in here it's like mixed media um it's not it's totally just pencil paper really yeah like at least the cover is good but it's like super thin yeah so That's pencil kind of paper but yeah i mean i didn't expect it to be like super thick but i don't know it's a little misleading it just a little bit lied to you yeah i mean i guess you could put paint in there but i don't know why you would want to it's yeah. like that thin and then do what you love guys do what you love i think i had something else written on the cover before i put tape on it but this was from a certain class if iris remembers this confidence code Oh. This is the confidence code book. <laughs> Teaches you to be confident. Be confident, guys. And I think I ripped out all of those pages. Make sure you kept them. I didn't like that glass. <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of like, I used it for my school art, like drawing book for a while. And then I think it became my bullet journal for like one month. And now it's my travel sketchbook yeah yeah oh i want to show you this drawing wire it's not finished yet so i'm not going to show the camera but oh, i'll show, okay. you this. show you that in a minute yeah i'll know before i'll before know. know yeah but i'll yeah you won't know and then i'll know and then it's i'm winning okay right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i actually like because i think i had a different like pencil sketchbook in here and then i finished it so i put it away i guess it's my sketchbook boxes. And then I also have different watercolors. Your sketchbook boxes. Yeah, you know, your finished sketchbook boxes. How many boxes do you have? Do you want to see them? I don't want to see them. Um, yeah, I just put those away. Um, it's a giant moving box. And it's <laughs> like a year worth of sketchbooks. <laughs> There's a lot of boxes. <laughs> and then my watercolor sketchbook that I had in here. It's like, it was huge. Like, it was really big, and it was like my Inktober sketchbook for a couple years. This is like too much detail, isn't it? That's fine. You need to know the history of the sketchbook. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it was kind of big, and I only had like one page left. So I figured I'd just like finish the page, and then I put a different one in here. So I have this one in here. I made this sketchbook, and I, this is like weird, like, I don't know, cardboard paper i don't even know what this is but shiny thing and then <laughs> it's shiny yeah and then i like folded some paper and then i like stitched it so it's watercolor paper yeah so a couple pages in here i have this page i'll zoom in all the pages don't and then i have these two Hello. i know that one profile picture it's my profile picture and then this one it's funny my favorite drawings are in here this is like not even like good paper but, you know, of course. Yeah. And then this one I did on my most, like, recent trip. Oh, it's shiny. We have water jar. Water jar. It's a jam jar. It's raspberry. Whoa. I bet the water tastes like raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it tastes really gross. <laughs> And then I'm not gonna open it, but you can see at the bottom I have one of those like brush cleaning things in there. But it's cool. It's like a little rubber thing and it like has like a suction thing on the bottom. So you like put it in a water jar and then you can like with your brush. Yeah. So you clean it faster. I'm not sure it actually works that good. But it's cool. It it works good. It works good. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything in there. What is that though? I think the fabric is like the pink on the bottom, which is weird. Oh. And then I'll do this last. Okay. Do I have anything back here? A another watercolor Ay. palette. This is metallic watercolors. There we go. It's gonna say if I can open it. <laughs> Woo! It's just gold and like these two. Yeah, pretty. Pretty. I have so many metallic watercolors, so I'm gonna put one in my backpack. <laughs> then I don't think I have anything else in there. 
I normally have a lot of random stuff. Okay, and then over here, we have paint brushes. Paint brushes. Yeah, I just put different paint brushes in here. Cause so I had them in like a thing, like a, a paintbrush safety. <laughs> A paintbrush, like, folding thing, folding fabric thing. Yeah. But it was, wasn't was long enough for, like, normal size paintbrushes. I'd use shorter ones, and they were really bad. And these ones used to be my main paintbrushes. But, um, yeah, I kind of use, like, really expensive ones now, and I love them. So I never use any other ones. So I was like, oh, I should put these in my backpack. They've been sentenced to the backpack. Yeah. <laughs> But it's better than them just like sitting in here, so. Yeah. Woo. You're cute. And if you're wondering why there's tape on them, it's because they're like not very good and they're loose, so I have to tape them to make sure that the middle part like stays on. Yeah. Yeah, they're okay. I like them. They're fine. They're good. <laughs> and then these also came with this, I think. And there's like a pencil too, but anyway. So two little markers, you know, doing ink stuff. And then I have a brown brush pen. And the reason I don't have those in here is because um, this is like too big. So I think it, it's almost too, I think it might be like too long too. It's like the same length as this thing, so it won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also too thick to go in like there, so. And the little loops they have? Yeah. And then... Oh, this is another one. I think I... <laughs> <laughs> I just got this one, but it's another um, brush pen. And there's like... I think the tip is like small. Smaller than normal ones, so I think that's why I got it. I should leave that out so I can like practice with it. And these are water brush pens. What? What? I feel like this one like never even had a cap. Like, I don't remember it ever having a cap, which is weird. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. You take them for traveling, I actually don't like them that much. <laughs> I mean, they're good for doing a base layer, but after that, it's just like too much water. And then I have one of these. You know, so you can like take some water from in there and then like put it in your palette. It's like, you wet your colors. It's helpful. <laughs> ah, nice. Nice. So, this is my pencil thing, most important thing. And I have a little string on my zippers so I know which thing is in what. And let me tell you how I know, right? So you see, this has black on the string, right? Yeah. Which kind of... So I'm just open the door. Okay. Which kind of looks like there's ink on it, right? Mm hmm So ink versus no ink and so one of these has pin pins in it and the other ones has pencils right oh. yeah so one of these is the pencil area and one of these is the pen area so this is the ink one right mm -hmm. this is the not ink one now which one do you think has pencils in it the 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 non-ink wrong <laughs> I've been bamboozled. Think, yeah, the one you think has pens in it actually has pencils. Ah, uh, so a robber won't know. <laughs> actually, this is not because I'm a robber. This, this is because I like this string better, so I put pencils in here. <laughs> it makes so much sense. It makes sense. See, cause back in the day, I used to be more of a pencil gal, but now I'm more of a pen gal. So she liked the pencil pen bag better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the pencils. Why do you need so many, you might ask? Well, <laughs> let me tell you. So this is an eraser pencil. Yeah. So this is eraser, which is kind of nice. If you've never heard of these, they're really cool. But I find, like, at least one that I got, the actual eraser is, like, not that good. But it's kind of cool that it's in a pencil. <laughs> The trade-off. And then this is cool. It's like a Prismacolor pencil and one side is red and one side is blue. So, right. 
you can sketch with the red side and then outline it with the blue side. It's very handy. And then this is um, like a blender so you can blend like graphite. Or I think it was made for like charcoal, but it works really good if you want to do a pencil drawing. And then um, I have no idea what this is, but it fits on the pencil and there's no eraser on here anymore. So this, I would use it, I'd be like just drawing, right? And then I'd forget there was an eraser and I'd go like this and it would uh, scrape my page and tear it. So, you know, safety. <laughs> save, save. <laughs> save the paper. Save it. And then this pencil came in the pencil set. You know, very important. And these are also all different um, lead types too. So if you don't know, it's different lead hardnesses. Hardnesses. Yeah, so this is a normal one. This is an HB. So there's H and there's B, right? So uh -huh. H stands for hard. And B, in my head, it stands for butter, so it's like buttery. <laughs> like, you know, like buttery, like smooth. You yeah, know? yeah, that, make, that makes sense. I don't know what it actually stands for, but that's how I keep it track. That's how I keep it track. Keep it, keep it straight. <laughs> <laughs> keep track and keep it straight. <laughs> yeah, so, and then this one is a 2B, so this one's really soft. It's like, it's the buttery ones, you know? Mm -hmm. And the softer ones are also harder to erase and they smear really easily, so they're not my favorite. <laughs> but it's good if you want to color in a big area and they're also darker, the softer ones. So if you're doing outlines and if you want to smudge it to color in a big area, then use the softer one. And then this is a 4H, so this one's like super hard. Yeah, and this is just normal pencil, you know basic <laughs> and then i have mechanical pencils have normal mechanical pencil and then here is the red pencil that i never use <laughs> yeah cool 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 and then wait hold on do i have two pencil racers in here i just uh, never noticed that uh, it's the same thing uh, I'm, like, I'm gonna take this out <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. Huh. How did I never notice that? I don't know. Well, I guess I can put this one over here. And then these are Prismacolor color pencils. Or Prismacolor color race pencils. Not the normal color pencils. So these are raceable color pencils. And they're really nice and I love them. And sometimes I think of a mood for a drawing and I need a specific color. So that's why you need multiple colors, okay? See, we have blue, right? Light blue, very nice. Mm -hmm. We have red, normal color. It seems like you use the red a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's like weird, so I don't think it's actually, I don't think this is a Prismacolor pencil. It's like, I think it's like, like, maybe it's like their old one or something. But this one's like not very erasable. Like, I have a couple of these, and maybe they're old, I don't know. The red ones are kind of fishy. <laughs> But the newer ones that I bought, and I have some newer red ones that work good, but these, like, this one, like, this, I don't know. This does not erase very well for some reason. It's weird. <laughs> and then I have a pink and an orange, and the light colors are good because they erase easier. And then I have two browns, right? See, you got to use the lighter brown, and then you go over it with the darker brown. It's a process. And then we have random rainbow pencil. Rainbow pencil. Yeah, rainbow pencil is just fun. That's it. <laughs> now we're on the pen side. Da, da, da. Yeah, um, I have a lot of pens. I can tell. I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, try to make this quick. Brush pen, cool. Waterproof ink, good for watercolors. Random brown pen, fun for sketching. Double-sided pen, but I think it came in one of my sets. We have tiny nib on the big side it's, it blended in with your shirt oh even tinier nib oh you so see you can't see it okay well, no 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 you can see it now okay well it's just you were like tiny nib and then it was just you couldn't see the nib <laughs> it's okay trust that it's a tiny nib yeah they're actually both small it's weird i think why did one side they come i don't know it's weird they're kind of both the same size <laughs> cool anyway 
This one also waterproof, very nice. This one has hearts on the cap. Ooh. You and can't this see that, one but it's there. Is not closed all the way. Please tell me you're not dried out. Okay, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is funny. I got this pen like I don't know. Iris probably also doesn't remember this. I don't but remember those things. When we started going back to school after quarantine, our teacher made us each like little gift baskets yeah gift baskets i was gonna say covid baskets there was lotion in there there was lotion and there was hand sanitizer and the hand sanitizer you know dries your hands out so that's why you need the lotion yeah yeah it's extra what was it called super healing, healing lotion yeah <laughs> maybe we need to put some at the end of the video that's lotion the best lotion yeah and she also gave us these little pins and i really like it it's like really nice because sometimes when you go over paints with pin like weirdly like um stops like working like it's oh weird. yeah yeah i've had that happen. it's so annoying so this one never does that this one also doesn't do it but you know sometimes you don't want to use your good waterproof pen and then over here we have a red like ballpoint pen you know good for sketching and then we have a fountain pen and this one, um, anchor that I got is like <laughs> a little short. It's a little, it's a little short. Also, it's like empty. I mean, put some new ink in there. Oh my god, wait! I tried to use this recently, and it like did not work. Is that why? Cause it's like empty. <laughs> hmm. Uh, that might have something to do with it. Maybe I'll like leave this out so I can like change that. And then another red pen, and I think I just put this in here because um, I like never use it. So. I'm gonna use it now. And then this is just like a thin pen. I don't know, it's nice. I think I liked it for sketching, you know? I don't know. Get closed! <laughs> and then this pen is a pinky pen. It's very pretty. And then we have a brown pen. And this one, I got this one on Amazon and it's like weird. Look at the tip, it's already messed up. Wait, I gotta get really, really close for this. Show them the messed Wait. up tip. <laughs> it's kind of, you can kind of see it. It, guys, it's messed up. <laughs> this we gotta know. Oh, that's so sad. But yeah, it's like not pointy anymore, so. You can't really get good lines with this, but I got it because the ink is brown, and I was having a hard time finding a brown brush pen. You know, skip now where I have this one, but. It's very sad. <laughs> it's very sad. And then this is like a, a dark purpley pink color. I thought it was pretty. <laughs> and those are my pens. Yay! Now I have to put everything back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.